Hey, what's up? It's Rob from the Card Guys. I'm here with Matt Lara. He got first at the North Carolina Regional. And what deck were you playing? I was playing Niklaus. And uh, it's a pretty good deck. You know, I think everyone knows a lot, but we'll just go ahead and jump into it. Uh, All right. For hand traps, I played Double Valor and the one Maxi. Um, I was doing, you know, everyone's doing the Double Valor, and I, I like Maxi, but uh, my boy Chuck uh, only side deck one, and you know he uh, top sixteen with uh, YCS Charleston, so I took it from him. Honestly. Okay, that's all you need is one, I guess. So. Yeah, really. I mean, it's, if you stop him, I mean, it's, it's all yeah, you need. I guess I've been drawing it too, but uh, and then of course the one Dingen. Uh, I play one Dance Princess and one Old Man. People are on the offense of this card, especially if you do combination. I just like it for the turn one bout plays. Yeah, it's it's nice. Yeah, and then the double shrit. Uh, of course, I wanted to do triple, but mm, I, I pretty much play the Old Man over the triple. And then, you know, the pretty much standard triple uh, hands and triple 10,000 hands. Okay, just and just for consistency. Yeah, and that's uh, regular. That's regular monsters. And then for the blue cards, you know, we got, of course, uh, one of you know, uh, decisive, really good. Trishula, obviously, and Gun Gear. I actually wanted to play a second one, but it doesn't need it, honestly. Okay. And I also played the Double Colossalus. Uh, I always sided one out, you know, because uh, all you really need is the one. But uh, two is actually really good for, especially like game one. You know, you just like just start going off. And then we got three Unicorn, three Brio, and three Valkyries. Most people were doing the two Valks. Uh, I just wanted to really draw it because I actually like going first in the knee claws matchup because if uh, I can just go uh, into Valkyries and just tribute off Old Man and himself, draw two, get an extra card. I have no cards on the field, so they can't trish me. I've always been an advocate of that play, but people don't listen to me, so. Yeah, well, like, well turn one, like, I just, just like, I'll go Valkyries, I'll go, advantage. like, most of the time it's Valkyries, Emerald, and then I'm tripping off Emerald and Old Man to draw two, search for Gungir. I have Gungir and Trish with Valkyries on turn. I said, you know what I mean? It's yeah. Just, I just think it's really good. Yeah, I think that's really good. And uh, that's all for the monsters. Uh, I think it's 28. It's a lot of monsters. Yeah. <laughs> but consistency. Yes. Everything can. searches for yep. everything. It's 28. And then for the spells, we've of course got the triple prep. We got triple MST. I actually played these because I'm, I'm, I was actually afraid of the floodgates. And uh, I just think it's too good not to main. And then of course the two ofs of the two mirror. We got two cycle and two kaleidoscope. I've, I've been seeing. Uh, that uh, it's been two two two. Is that the most favorable lineup? Um, um, is, there, is there anything you change in the ratios? Honestly, I did want to play seven because I'm always uh, I don't like the number six. Uh, superstitious, and I'm a, <laughs> uh, I really like the number seven. Also superstitious. So That's what cool. I really wanted to do is play a third one of the mirror because you always like. Especially like Shrit will always be in Grave, and you always have like knee claws in Graveyard. So that's why I like, uh, like I know Japan or whatever is like doing like three on the cycle, but I, I like the Mirror. I think Mirror's too good, honestly. And then, so of course the six Rituals and the one ofs is Regeki and Book. Of course, because you just gotta yeah. play them. They're too uh, good. Gen, uh, you know the Gen Lock and no Eclipse. Uh, no Eclipse. Uh, actually side deck it because. Uh, I don't know. Like I think like these just do the work in general. Like if I'm a side deck Eclipse, I might as well just side deck the or main deck right Geki. It does the same thing. It gets rid of Gen Lock. Um, now why not uh, Snatch Steel? Uh, Snatch Steel. I really did want to play it because like I mean obviously the cards in the name it's, it literally steals games. You yeah. know what I mean? So I just I just couldn't fit it in. And honestly, this is like apparently I'm playing too many cards anyways. And but I really did want to... I mean, apparently not, because, I mean, you got first. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, I wanted at least side deck. I couldn't even fit it, fit it in the board at all, but I, I really did want to play Snatch, too. I just, I just chose the red gecky, honestly. Okay. And, but uh, that's it for spells, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that's 14. And then I also played two traps. Okay. And my only two traps were double mind crush. That's and my... Yeah. <sighs> so good. It's This is, like... Honestly, like uh, I have to give a shout out to my boy here because like he made me ma like he main decks three Minecraft. in his so he night. he had to main I'm like all right if you're I, gonna main deck up, it I'm gonna I main deck it. Opened up triple mind crush and he was just like fucked it. No yeah like we were playing <laughs> we were playing in fun oh, match he goes triple mind crush on me and I lost the game so I said if you can't beat him join him so <laughs> that, that that's a fair he, you know way to I mean? think about things. So and then that was the main deck and the total main deck is actually 44.
Okay. You know, I was actually playing the 44. Um, I honestly would probably switch it down to 4041 for more consistency, but uh, you're not sure what to take out. Yeah, not sure what to take out. Honestly, this is like my first time playing the uh, the deck really. So okay. Up like three days ago. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see that sideboard. Uh, for the sideboard, we got uh, double uh, Vanny's Fiend. You know, FDB shout out. Uh, and then double decree. Uh, I really did want to do Denka. Everyone did Denka. Denka's like it's too good. You know what I mean? You lose. You know what I mean? But it's just I just I'd rather summon a Menju or something. And they're gonna side out MSTs against Necklaws. Like why wouldn't you side out? I mean you know what I mean? I can get CC in the one, but that that's pretty much why I, I would go do Denkas. Well, I guess one thing that I think the people are reason going Denkas is because you can also stop like the Book of Moon and Book of Eclipse that oh, people yeah, are setting definitely. too. Yeah, that d deaths and then it's just like. They they really don't do it. They get you know what I mean. That's kind of it. So honestly, I, I probably am gonna switch these back to the den because like you can overlay. Like I like honestly, I barely even sided them in. You know, I think I would have sided like the den because more honestly. And then for the spells, we got two twisters. I want to change these. I I mean they're really good and versatile, but I'd rather just play the typhoon because um, typhoon I think is just a much better card. Typhoon is a much better card because uh, against Cliffords, they're obviously gonna side in the. Net, the Naturia Beast play on me. So if they go like Naturia Beast, uh, have a scout, and they're gonna play Vanities, you know, I just pff, Typhoon it. You know what I mean? Easy, easy peasy. But, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Take these out for uh, Typhoons. And then the other spells is one Dark Hole. You need board wipes. And all the man deck in Regeki. And the one Eclipse. Like, honestly, I don't like this card. I don't like it in main, but I cited it in every game. That is very true. Every game, regardless if it was the mirror or not? Uh. Pff. I think the mirror's where it shines. The mirror's where it shines, but I also sided against, like, Clifford's for the OTK. Uh, you'll send you's if, uh, you know what I mean, to stop the okay, yeah. all the shenanigans. But mainly just for the the mirror match. But say, I played a good amount of mirror matches today. And then, of course, you play the double fire hand and double ice hand. Um, I know why they're played, and I know why they're good. I just didn't side them in, honestly. Okay. But, uh, you know, uh, Clifford's hit skill drain. You know. Yeah, because that's that's a problem. I've never liked that card. But no, you, you, you play today? Yeah. Uh, honestly, I played zero Cliffords. So. But <laughs> I, I was ready for the matchup. Yeah, like I was test playing. You played like, like eight Necros. Yeah. <laughs> and then for uh, the other monsters is double Kaiku. People are doing the one. I just want to draw it. Honestly, all you need is one. So, I mean, it's just player preference at that point. And then of course I was side decking my second Maxi. Nice. What I would do for the mirror match. Is since I main deck double Valor, people want to keep him in against the mirror match. I actually sided out one Valor and just put in the second maxi for the mirror match. Like it was just, it was just way too good. And uh, that's the side deck for 15. Okay. We're we'll going to move on. Is there anything you'd uh, change for uh, the sideboard? In the, in the sideboard, uh, yes. Uh, like the twisters to typhoons. Okay. Uh, these would be denkas. Okay. Um, and honestly, these are probably straight. I might do snatch steel because, like I said, I really. <laughs> That card is just fun. It steals games. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it I love playing that games. card. Thank you, Konami. <laughs> and um, honestly, I think that'd be it. Maybe like a side blocker or something. Like is okay, that, side blocker is actually really good. And I know like right now everyone's like on the fence about him, but when the deck gets touched, you, you're gonna need a side deck side blocker for sure. For sure. For sure. And then that's the side deck, of course. And then for the extra, pretty simple. Uh, my four stars was Rhapsody. Dragon Zero, I want to take this out, honestly. Everybody says that. Yeah, everybody says it. But it, it's still decent. You know, it's a 24 beater. The Cowboy actually won me games, of course. Uh, Dweller. I uh, actually didn't go into him a lot. I actually went over the Ragnar Zero than the Dweller. But, I mean, it's, you still need it. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's there, of course. Uh, this is the best extra deck card ever. And especially Neat Claws, because, like, you just like make this, clear my board, banish from graveyard, and then just like go and like. Or get rid of a problem cards like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I was playing your Sentry today and I kept. I have Necro. I was making Necro Valley as a tech and this card just kept ruining my day. Yeah, like <laughs> it's just like. Like when you know someone summons this, they might have game that turn. Like <laughs> it's just. And then, uh, of course, the one Castell, the one Emerald. Uh, I liked him because it made my. Like I said, I love going first in the deck. Like. Uh, I'd win the die roll and I'd go first, and then people were like, "Oh, he's playing knee claws." But I would just go into him, Valkyrus, tribute off, draw two, and then just say pass. And they couldn't even OTK me because I had either Valkyrie, they just didn't have enough damage. So yeah. And then of course the one lava chain and one exiton, and uh, that's it for the exceeds. And okay. Uh, nine exceeds. Okay. And then for the synchros, obviously the two light arcs for the kaleidoscope. I played the one Goyo. Honestly, I think I kind of want to take this out because I really I, you, you go against Brio against the BA matchup, obviously, but that's about it. And I, you can make Brio easy. You know what I mean? What would so, you play? I would, I'd honestly play uh, 
if I had a giant hand, I'd play a giant hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, MVP right there. But yeah. uh, if I <laughs> wish we all had one of those, don't we? Oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, if I could, um, I'd honestly play a crazy box. Yeah, I would play Crazy Box. The Crazy Box is, uh, I think, is too good. And then, um, of course, for the ten star, this I did this over the shooting star because you know I play the Valor. This with uh, Trishula. Okay. And then the Star Eater, of course, you know, only eleven star in the extra deck, and you can obviously make it with Trishula. Uh, I mean, not Trishula. Uh, what's his name? Decisive armor. Decisive armor and Valor, and then you know they can't uh, Valkyrie you, so you just attack for game sometimes. And then, yeah, that's true. And then of course the last card I play is the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and the reason I played him over the Quasar is because, uh, for some reason, if they do play Exa Beetle, they like, and I have Quasar, they're gonna just you know Exa Beetle this, destroy Quasar, especially when they're shooting star, and I'm like. I know it's really situational, you played Quasar, yeah. but I just I just don't want to run in that situation. Okay. You know what I mean? And, I got you. Uh, that was it for the... Actually, that was it uh, for the extra, you know what I mean? Uh, it was uh, five synchros and the one fusion, and that okay. was extra deck. Uh, okay. Uh, what I changed about the deck, uh, pretty much just the Denkos and Typhoons. Other than that, it played pretty good. So. All right. Uh, this, uh, this is Rob from the Car Guys signing out.